five, four, three, two, one, and lift off of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket. The Delta IV RS-68A engine and two solid rocket motors ignite, lift the rocket away from the pad. The two solid rocket motors, or SRMs, generate the additional power required at liftoff, with each providing an additional 281,000 pounds of thrust. Shortly after liftoff, Delta IV begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path, while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Delta IV reaches Mach 1 at the speed of sound at 42 seconds. The SRMs burn out one minute 33 seconds into flight. Seven seconds later, the SRMs are jettisoned. Approaching main engine cutoff, Delta IV is burning propellant at a rate of 1,000 pounds per second, located 90 miles in altitude and 227 miles downrange. At three minutes, 56 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. Seven seconds later, the Delta IV separation system activates to release the first stage. The vehicle now weighs a little less than 9% of what it did at liftoff. At 4 minutes 17 seconds, the second stage main engine ignites. The second stage and GPS satellite are now in the first burn. This burn will last approximately 9 minutes. During ascent, GPS-3 Magellan is protected inside a 4-meter diameter payload fairing. At approximately 4 minutes 26 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. 13 and a half minutes into flight, cutoff of the main engine, or VECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters a 53-minute coast phase. One hour, six minutes, and 47 seconds after liftoff, the engine is restarted for a second burn. Approximately three and a half minutes later, the second main engine cutoff occurs. At one hour, 55 minutes, 26 seconds, the second stage releases the GPS-3 Magellan satellite the Air Force's Space and Missile Systems Center. 